Hey guys, welcome back to today's second video. So earlier today I uploaded Nancy Pelosi versus Paul Ryan. Um, I also am uploading Mark Warner versus Donald Trump. I think it'll upload a little bit later. But right now, um, Mark Warner is an incumbent United States Senator from the state of Virginia, one of two Democratic senators from that state. So, of course, his home state would go to him respectively, especially since it is a Democratic state. Um, and whereas Donald Trump, he wouldn't win his home state of New York. <laughs> We're not even going to go there, but let's start with the Western Coast and just pick off from there. So I'm filling in a couple more states based off where I think Mark Warner would do. I think he would definitely win in a state like Nevada and Colorado, definitely from where he's from um, and the way he appeals to minority voters, um, especially with the fact that since he does come from a state like Virginia, he would have to appeal to a, a large amount of voters in order to win a Senate seat. Um, I think his continuous op opposition to President Trump and being prominent in things such as the Mueller investigation definitely got his name out there with the 2017 general election, um, boosting up Virginia in the national front with Democrats right ahead. Um, this leads either Mark Warner, um, Tim Kaine, or Terry McAuliffe, or even Ralph Northam to try to run for president in 2020. So I've decided to do these two. The state of Michigan and Minnesota, Donald Trump's approval ratings are abysmal. Are, they're just really bad. Um... Yeah, uh, I honestly think the state of Michigan, with Donald Trump's 32% approval rating, would not go to him a second time, especially with a candidate like Mark Warner, who can definitely appeal to the white working class with his background and everything else. Um, he could definitely win the white working class. But then I'm going to fill in states like Georgia and Arizona for the same reasons. Um, th he wouldn't have an appeal to that many minority voters enough to flip those states. Um, same arguments come out of the states of Iowa and Ohio. I think those states would respectively go to Donald Trump. But the state of North Carolina, I think the Southerner appeal is definitely going to help Mark Warner. I think he's going to be one of the few Democrats who can win North Carolina in the near future. Going down to the state of Florida, I think the state of Florida would also go to Mark Warner. With climate change becoming a top issue in health care, uh, Mark Warner is one of the more prominent Democratic voices um, that we've seen. Um, especially with the Mueller investigation and everything included. Um, they voted against Hillary Clinton scandals. Donald Trump's are just piling up again. Going up to a state like New Hampshire, again, the drug-infested den comment's not going to help Donald Trump here. Um, across the Rust Belt, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. I know this video is really quick, um, but the reasoning's still there. The states of Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, Donald Trump's approval rating are extremely low. He hasn't really brought back a lot of jobs. Um, if he did, his approval rating would be going up. And the states narrowly voted for him in 2016, and he's lost a lot of voters. So I think that Mark Warner would be able to grasp those votes. Um, this is the final electoral map. 322 electoral votes for Mark Warner to 215 for Donald Trump. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all tomorrow.